to everyone. Welcome to our ICONFAT conference presentation. Uh, our topic for today is enhancing your five pupils English speaking through the TICLIP module. So we are a group of four. Uh, we are Shazuna Shamin, Abdul Basit, Vincent and Wei Xiang, Nur Mecha Evelino, and our supervisor is Professor Madia Dr. Malur Muhammad Yunus. And we are from UKM as postgraduate students. Next. As back, our background, we are three ESL teachers teaching in three different primary schools in Johor and also uh, we are from two different districts in Johor Bahru and also two schools in Pasir Gudang. We have been in this field for four years and we have been teaching English as a second language to these primary classrooms within these four years. We are currently uh, part-time postgraduate students in University Kebangsaan Malaysia and at the same time we are teaching in the schools full-time. The issues, the underlying issues that led us to conduct this mini research in our schools are firstly, we observed that this year five students or pupils, I might say, in, in the selected schools, they refuse to speak English with their peers and also their teachers. It means that they are not speaking English and they couldn't even construct simple English language within their daily conversation. And this is quite a, an alarming issue because as year five students, we should prepare them towards their secondary studies. Secondly, we observe that they have quite low comprehension of the subject matter. For example, they do not really understand certain social situations in what manner should they speak and also in what kind of subject matter that they should be able to converse in. They do not understand such expectations which they have to meet in certain social situations and therefore with our intervention, we decided to give them a form of guidance so that they would not feel discouraged to initiate conversation, especially with their peers within the school compound and also beyond the school compound. Thirdly, is because they do not comprehend the social situations and also the social expectations, they were unable to generate ideas and also sentence structures to kick off relevant conversations in the targeted social situations. In other words, they are lost and therefore this feeling of loss made them feel very discouraged to use English in their daily life. And fourthly, when they are in their English classes, they are not using the targeted language which is supposed to be English language. They prefer very much so to use their first language, which are Mandarin and also Malay, instead of using English to converse. So we are trying to address this issue so that we can help them to approach English in a very open-minded manner and at the same time give them some ideas on how to start speaking in English from a very guided situation. And therefore, we have came up with the TICLET module. TICLET module is a form of guidance for them. And to address these issues, students are firstly introduced to the matters focused in the TICLET module. We focus on only, as the beginners, we focus on only two sets of social context, which are firstly is to uh, request and secondly is to apologize. And for these two social contexts, we have provided them uh, 18 samples of TikTok module using the platform of TikTok. And the reason why we use TikTok is because TikTok is very accessible to them. And TikTok has a very large database and they can access it anywhere and anytime. So they can use it 
as a guidance for them to practice the conversation at home and in their own sweet time without feeling any pressure from the teacher and from anybody else. So it is basically their own effort to improve their uh, speaking uh, and it's their own effort to learn the language itself. So by coming up with these ticket modules, uh, I would say it is us teachers trying to provide to our pupils with uh, relevant language structures, uh, which are very direly needed in order for them to start a meaningful conversation within that two social contexts. And so our hard desire for this research is to examine these two questions. The first, does the use of Tickled module improve Year 5 pupils' spoken English language since we are tackling uh, social expression? So we are tackling speaking skills. Okay, so we want to see whether this module or this intervention really helps to improve. That is, for, that is first. And second, would the TikTok, the Tickled module enable Year 5 pupils to speak fluently in the targeted language? So as we can see, since we are English teachers, so it's very predominant or it's very crucial for us to actually uh, help them, help the pupils to master the skill, especially in the English language. Okay, next. Okay, moving on, we have the participants. So as my, as my presenter had mentioned, okay, so we are actually taking, we took Year 5 pupils, both in Johor Bahru and Pasir Gudang districts, okay, so all together made up of 30 respondents who actually came or who actually uh, come from low, low to intermediate uh, background of mastery of uh, speaking English language. Okay, so those, are, those were our participants. Okay, moving on to the next one, we have the theory and the model. So we, we are focusing on these two things. One is Eric Erickson's psychosocial theory and another one is Flores' five-stage speaking model. So I'm going uh, to explain in detail these two uh, theory and model. So according to Erickson, children approximately aged 6 to 12 would encounter psychosocial crisis, which is industry versus inferiority. So success in this stage will actually lead to the virtue of competence. Second, children at this stage will also be learning to read and write, to do arithmetics, and to do things on their own. So over here, the teacher's role is quite important or is quite predominant in educating the child's specific skills. So peer group is another source of child's uh, self-concept or self-esteem that will actually gain greater significance. As a result, the children begin to develop a sense of pride in their accomplishment. So what is the relation or the connection we, we intersperse this theory in our ticklet, in our research? So with regard to this research, pupils were assigned to rehearse and produce a snippet via ticklet module. So some samples were provided for them to practice with their peers prior to submission. So they were actually given ample time to actually rehearse and practice with their friends before they submitted the video. Number two, the samples given were clear and succinct to avoid restriction or over-demanding issue, which may actually otherwise lead to pupil self-doubt and hence develop a sense of inferiority. So before we asked the pupils to come out or to produce a video, we actually came up with a sample or we came up with a few samples, with a multitude of samples. So from, that, from those samples, they were able to imitate or they were able to, to derive their own uh, snippets via ticklet module. And eventually, since the pupils' initiative was encouraged, they began to feel industrious and competent and even confident in their ability to achieve goals. So some of the introverts were also able to speak on this platform. So we can see that very clearly where some of the shy pupils would also like, would also like to take part. Yeah, since they are only working with their peer, you know, and then they feel, they, they also feel a kind of a sense of belonging in them. Okay, 
then we have the, the next stage is the Flores uh, five stage speaking model, where it actually comprises of preparation is the first step, okay, where we actually conducted a pre intervention survey and pre speaking test. Then moving on, we have the presentation where we introduced the ticket module okay, via TikTok social media platform. And third, we have the practice where pupils actually uh, put in or get into their toes okay, in conversing with their peers or siblings using the ticket module. They rehearse. We have uh, come up with a few social contexts or situations whereby pupils actually rehearse or practice with, their, uh, with the people around them. Okay, then moving on, the next stage is the evaluation stage whereby we actually carried out a post-test uh, with the support of the video recording submission. And of course, the final stage is the extension where pupils can extend the use of TikTok with TikTok social community. So it's just not uh, confined to their own peers in school or siblings at home, but they can also further extend this uh, uh, ticklet module or this strategy intervention to other people in the community. Now, let us look some sample that had been done by teachers and the participants. Excuse me, can you please pass me the spoon? Yes, of course. Here you are. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Now it's your turn to try. Can you give me a piece of paper, please? Yes, of course. Thank you very much. The most welcome. Can you borrow your pencil, Dinya? Yes, you may. Here you are. Thank you very much. You are most welcome. Okay. Now moving on to. Let me just explain a little bit in detail uh, in general about the ticklet module or intervention. So what is ticklet? Like my, my friend mentioned just now, it is an e-learning social platform which incorporates bite-sized information, sentence structures, and social situations in TikTok social media. So it does not look that complicated or complex in reality. Okay, so in terms of accessibility, Language contents are easily accessible, okay, it's ubiquitous, it can be obtained or it can be practiced anywhere and everywhere with reliable internet connection. And of course, well, students need to use a hashtag in order to assess all the materials at hand. Yeah, next. Okay, the procedure here is roughly is basically the same with the Flores speaking model which we actually uh, we actually sort of like inserted this model or we, we we kind of like blended blend this model in in our research so basically this procedure i have uh, i have already explained earlier yeah thanks okay now moving on to data collection method we use pre-test and post-test, and we also use survey questionnaire to examine the effective elements and desire of people to learn or converse in English language. Okay, uh, and uh, at the right side, you can see uh, the mean and mini mean, minimum score and maximum score for pre- and post intervention. As you can see, the mean score increased by 23.93%, where the pre-intervention is 46.18%, and then the post is 70.11%. Okay, the minimum score before the intervention is 21, and after the intervention is 50%. So it increased by 29%. Then the maximum score before the intervention is 79%. After the intervention is 100%. So it increased by 21%. Okay. Okay, all the participants were analyzed according to each pen. So for, for pronunciation, at the before the intervention, 
the people, uh, sorry, the participants show low traps of pronunciation for social context. So that's why you can see the percentage there is 20 and 16 of people were consistently at band 4. But after we do the intervention, more than 50% of them were at band 4 and band 5. This shows that after intervention, they can, they can speak well. Uh, and then for the fluency, they have low reps of fluency for social context. That's why you can see there are 10% and 70% of them were consistently at band 4 and more than 40% were at band 2. But after we do the intervention, more than 30% of them were at band 4 and band 5. Uh, this shows that after the intervention, they can respond with few pulses and relaxed manner. Okay, the next one is we assess the comprehension. Uh, so before the, we do the intervention, the lack of uh, understanding for the social context. So none of them were at band 4 and more than 50% of them were at band 2. Okay, but after we do the intervention, uh, there are more than 50% of them were at band 4 and band 5. This shows that they understand what is required for both social contexts. So, in conclusion, the ticket model, uh, before we doing this particular model intervention, people fail to respond appropriately. They need repeated rephrasing of word and clues before they give the answer for the social context. But after we, uh, after we do the intervention, they're able to uh, enhance their speaking skill using the social expression, using the ticket model. So the, our conclusion is this ticket model able to help students to speak fluently by using suitable social expression in relevant social context uh, in our daily life. Okay, this is our reference and that is, that's all from us. Thank you.